I'm flying myself to, to Spain, to Sevilla, where I think it's going to be 41 degrees, of course, because there is a general election in Spain uh, this weekend. Um, a lot of we see that the, the, the center right, the opposition from the Partido Popular is in the lead in the polls at the moment. Uh, in the regions where they won with uh, the, the alliance with the far right Vox, they've been rolling back a lot of the green policy that have been put in place usually by uh, the left bloc that you belong to. So is this general election to a certain extent happening in the middle of a heat wave, a kind of a referendum on climate? Well, I don't know if it is a referendum, but they are trying to avoid discussing on climate, climate impact. So their main message is, don't worry about climate, this does not exist, or we say, or we say nothing about climate. So to a certain extent, as you say, there may be many people understanding that uh, this could have such a huge impact on climate policies that uh, we need to take very seriously the sense um, of our vote, the direction of our votes. And uh, this is particularly important in the rural areas where they tend to say, uh, wait, they, they, we, we will not, um, we will not uh, enjoy climate change, so we will do nothing. We promise you more water and calm weather, which uh, does not exist, of course. So uh, I think that, yes, we need to be very serious and we are saying that be careful because you may be voting someone that does not care, does not understand and does not act on climate. And this is the worst case scenario for any citizen uh, in Spain. Well, I read somewhere that climate change, to a certain extent, is kind of fueling the rise of the far right. Uh, that is fueling sort of discontent around the droughts, around restrictions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Is that an analysis that you are sharing? Absolutely. It was so crazy that uh, they were saying that uh, um, many of the things that were happening were because of the government. So that we were combating, uh, we were creating additional droughts through the planes with, uh, with, the, uh, with the charm trails being uh, something that was behind the change of the weather, uh, that we were creating problems because of uh, the management of the water policies. And I think that uh, this created a kind of irritation that uh, was playing against the meteorologists. In the National Agency of Meteorology, of Meteorology they were receiving calls when people uh, responded to these calls they, they got insults uh, coming from the other end of the line. So I think that, yes, we need to be very careful on how to handle uh, climate impacts. We need to be responsible. And from the institution and the political forces, we should be facilitating consensus and we should be facilitating serious response, not uh, just uh, diminishing what we do not like. Of course, nobody likes climate change, but the worst response could be to ignore that it exists the worst response would be to stay without doing anything. We need to assess and we need to respond based on science. And that's what we try to push and that's what we try to, um, to facilitate as a debate in the campaign. The worst thing for the time being in the campaign is denying the fact that it exists or it is staying silent as if there were nothing to be discussed.